What is going on everybody? Mattitude22 here today bringing you guys a brand new figure review for some brand new figures. Today we have the WWE Elite Series 80 uh, Eric and Ivar the Viking Raiders. Uh, really, really excited. I just got these guys in this morning. So really quick you can see the packaging for each for Eric. They, uh, they both kind of come with some alternate hands which... Uh, I don't know what the difference is with the hands. Well, I guess uh, they come with two kind of rocking out hands and two kind of grabbing hands. So you can kind of see that's what's left in the box. Nice shot of Eric right there on the side. Let me just kind of back up for you guys a little bit. There is the rest of the wave. I also got Bailey and Kevin Owens. Some statistics. There you go. And that is it for him. And then uh, kind of the same deal with Ivar. Top of the box. There you go. All right. Jumping into it so you can see that each kind of come with some nice uh you know entrance gear like their kind of entrance armor we'll point out uh, eric eric seems to have a little bit of a hard time standing i think he might need uh to take a nice hot water bath but as you see his ankle is a little bit stiff oh there we go we got it sometimes you just gotta work it out a little bit but there you go you can kind of see them all with their nice armor on they both kind of got the shoulder plate but kind of on the other side so Ivar has it on the left Eric has it on the right and it looks good nicely sculpted bit harder uh for the plastic wise but not too bad and they each have the arm guard I, I would call that an arm guard I don't know I don't know what you all, all what y'all would call it but or like a sleeve kind of like a sleeve or like a glove and then he has his belt. You can see the belt very nicely detailed. Like that a lot. And of course the helmet, which has the big white hair going back. And that sculpted really nice. I think they did a good job on that. And for Ivar, you can see same deal. But for him, he's got not so much a belt, but he's got more of the big, uh, you know, almost like Rikishi would wear. It's like a belt that goes around, but then it's kind of more like or like a gladiator that's what that kind of reminds me of other than that same stuff and of course his crown is completely or a helmet helmet crown uh is completely different so really quick i'll kind of get these guys out of their entrance gear that way we can kind of take a better look at the the deco and whatnot all right so there we go you can kind of see them now out of their entrance gear We'll take a better look at Eric. So face sculpt, excellent. Mattel is really hitting home runs with this new uh, face printing technology. I think they really did a good job here. I think his face looks immaculate. I love the detail. Uh, oh, I love all the paint deco on the tattoo. You know, you can see everything clearly. Very nice, very colorful. And even on the trunks. I think they painted them flawlessly, which is really nice. You can see all the nice designs there on the boots. The budget for these guys in deco alone must have been through the roof. You know, and then you could see Ivar again. Face sculpt is absolutely stunning. I really, really like it. They got the painted uh, chest hair for him. Of course, he's, uh, he's a big hairy man, so kind of got that tattoo right there good guys look at how good that looks look at how great that looks just excellent 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 i, I can't commend uh mattel enough for their outing on these viking raiders i think they like i said i think they really really did a good job uh both face sculpts are nice like i said you know they're not the same body because obviously eric you know in real life is a bit more He's big, but he's more kind of lean. 
and Ivar is, you know, he's more like he's a he's a thick boy. But all right, let's kind of do the articulation. So head moves side to side. Get the forward and back. Now the arms are a little bit stiff, but you can kind of work them out. He has a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. That's maybe my biggest complaint is that we're still kind of working with the single jointed elbow, but it's not as bad on these guys because you know you don't imagine that they're doing all kinds of crazy dynamic posing. He does have the jo double jointed knee, but I think part of it gets lost because of the knee pad. But you know what? It's there. You can clearly see the double jointed knee. So it's 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 there. At least we know it's there. The waist twist. And he's got the ankle pivot and ankle rocker. And of course, he has the boot swivel. So very uh, nicely articulated. Minus, minus the single jointed elbows. Mattel's really got to kind of step it up and get with the times you know i mean i, I always kind of said their wwe license is kind of the best mattel figures but look what happened with dc you know so mattel step it up man we need those double jointed elbows uh for sure but yeah i i, I mean uh can't really think of anything else to say uh guys i'm just kind of speechless on how good these figures look was really excited to get these guys this morning not expecting them but uh let's kind of get them all uh dressed up in their entrance gear and let's get them all good to go all right and there we have them all set up in their entrance gear which i'm gonna kind of leave them like this uh because i think mattel did such a good job I, I forgot to mention too the detail on the face paint is really nice too uh just yeah really solid paint work overall i really really like these figures i cannot uh suggest picking these up enough and i will say don't be surprised if you kind of see these guys pop up on the top 20 later this year which i know i didn't do one last year but i will be doing it this year uh so yeah like i said don't be surprised if you see these guys again as always thank you so much for watching this video thank you for all your continued support guys uh really trying to be more consistent and i'm really trying to be more uh just just always i'm just always trying to do better for you guys you know and make better content and make more content that you guys want to see uh, as always don't forget to drop a like if you like what you see or i mean even if you didn't feel free to drop a like subscribe if you haven't already be greatly appreciated uh, always open to feedback so if you guys have any any kind of feedback or requests please feel free to leave it in the comments down below thank you so much guys i think that's gonna do it here have yourselves a great day and i will see you hopefully in the next video bye